Are you ready to do the sports whisper? Sure. All right, so Kyle Lowry last night uh, makes a, a shot from half court. It's the only shot he made all game. He's been really bad, and I don't recognize this Kyle Lowry. He's been really bad. So what are we doing here with the sports whisper? We are, uh, he's been really bad, not just last night, but for the first, you know, eight games of the playoffs here, historically bad. So we have uh, Adam Silver talking to Kyle Lowry about the fact that the NBA really doesn't want Toronto to advance on to the next round. They would prefer well, the Miami Heat. I feel Heat. like you're, okay, well, I feel like you just spoiled what it is that the Whisperer is doing. It, well, it's just a conversation between Adam Silver and Kyle Lowry. I know, but you just, like, stole one of your big laughs away from yourself. Yeah, perhaps I did. Why did you do that? Well, you asked me what it was about, and I felt the need to, to kind of describe too- it a little bit. Yeah, uh, Maybe he gave up too much information there. Well, I don't think we need to do it anymore. Yeah, I think we should do it. It's a conversation between... But it's not a conversation. Listen, it's everyone, one pretend, guy whispering. Listen to me. Pretend you didn't hear what I just said, okay? All right, go just ahead. get it out of your mind. All right, but go ahead. Fine. All right, because I mean, people are tuning in and turning on their radios at all different times. Someone's tuning in right now. All right. I mean, the first time I didn't even hear what happened right. 10 seconds ago. Go ahead. Do, I mean, it's not a conversation. It's one guy whispering. It's a one-way conversation. All right, go ahead. But, I mean, I feel like you really did just steal the big joke in this. I may have. All right, go ahead. We'll find out together. I'm nervous now. All right, you want to wait? You no, wanna, no, no, no. You want to you gather yourself? I'm back. I'm good. Kyle. Kyle. Listen up. We like your team. We like you. We don't like you and your team nearly as much as we like Dwayne Wade and his team. We need a Heat Cavs Eastern Conference Finals. Everyone wants this. I don't want to betray a trust, but even Drake wants this. So here's what we're going to do. You need to be bad, but not just bad, really bad. Historically bad. We'll protect you when you step out of bounds at a half court eve that will send game one to overtime. We won't call it, but you have to make that shot. That shot is what's going to keep the conspiracy people away from us. <laughs> okay. You need uh, okay. to make that half court uh, eve. Uh, okay. <laughs> and afterwards, afterwards, that shot, again, is going to keep the conspiracy people away. I feel like you've lost your way on what you're reading. And afterwards, go back to being bad in overtime. Okay. Not just bad, but even worse right. than you were before <laughs> you made the shot. Right. Afterwards, mm-hmm. we will edit footage of you working on your threes. Oh, no, nice. Back in January <laughs> on a Wednesday right. at 11 a.m. Right. And we will make it look. Like you were in the gym after the game. Right. Until 2 in the morning. You do this for us. We guarantee you a spot in next year's Eastern Conference Finals. What? <laughs> so just to recap. Wait a minute. What? Just to recap. Okay. I'm not done, Kyle. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. just to recap. Go out there. Make it look like you're trying very hard. Mm-hmm. Make it look like you care. And most importantly... Go out there and have the worst postseason an NBA All-Star has ever had. It's Stugat's favorite time of the day. At time. Texture writes in succinctly. Yep, he ruined it. It was a close shave in the basketball game last night in Toronto. You can already assume what this live spot is after I mention the words close shave. Tell them more about Dollar Shave Club. Do God. I'm very upset. <laughs> I mean, you no, don't blame that on me, man. No. Do not blame no. that on me. No. I did this to myself. <laughs> okay. I mean, the, the I whole. Did it to the, I mean, the whole joke's construct was we don't want you to advance, and you said it on the front end. I was nine for nine, yeah. unlike Kyle Lowry. Yes. I was one for nine. Right. I was nine for nine. All on right. Sports stop Western. doing that. Just read the ad. And I ruined it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I want to curse. <laughs> Can I curse while whispering? No, oh, no, stop whispering, please. You're annoying people. All right, anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> Unbelievable. Dollar Shave Club. Stop. I'm really upset, Dan. Anyway, Dollar Shave Club. After years of getting gouged, $20 for a pack of razors, it feels good to great uh, to get a great shave for just a few bucks, guys. It really does. Everyone on this show loves Dollar Shave Club. We do. We all use it. We all love it. And we are all saving a ton of money. You can afford to shave with a fresh blade anytime. Listen to these reviews from real Dollar Shave Club members. At Tracking Jake tweeted, I shaved this morning for the first time in three months. Oh, damn. At Dollar Shave Club, I feel so smooth, lush, handsome, and above average height. Try the club for yourself. Once you experience how amazing the shave is, you'll understand why people get carried away. We love it. You're going to love it as well. Try dollarshaveclub.com today. That's dollarshaveclub.com. The best in the business. Dan Levatarcion, ESPN Radio.